Hey everyone, what is up? It's Crazy Goalie here, bringing you a little bit of a bonus video, I guess you could say, of Operation Skull Rain. So I went to the live stream today and I got to know uh, what Operation Skull Rain is going to be about, as well as watching the ESL finals, which was amazing. So I, I always watch them to learn a little bit more about Rainbow Six Siege and how the pros play to learn. Um, so here's the new map, going to be set in Brazil. Uh, called the favela and as you can see going around the map here lots of open space a lot of destructible walls so you have to be very careful on where you place your stuff inside this map um, reinforcement walls those kind of things it is so an open area on the outside and then you have that badass vehicle right there that BOPE uh, looking <laughs> vehicle for the police force that they use here so here are the two new operators capito and cavera capito being on the attacking side and cavera being on the defensive side um they each have their own special ability and we're gonna go ahead and go over capito right now uh here's his crossbow uh when you change out his bolts it's kind of weird looking um, but his special ability is going to be the asphyxiating bolts and micro smoke grenades. With his um, uh, equipment going to be stuns, grenades, the M249, the Para 308, and his sidearm of a PRB92. With a, he also has a three speed and a one armor, so he's going to be like a cap. Or not a Capcom, like a Jaeger and a Blitz. Or not Blitz. A Jaeger and a Bandit. Now let's go ahead and go over a Defender, who is going to be Cavera, who has the ability for Silent Steps for a short period of time, and also Interrogation when a enemy is downed. Uh, her equipment, she's going to have a Nitro, Barbed Wire, a Spaz 12 Improved, um... It's called the Spaz-15, but it's basically an improved Spaz-12. The M12 submachine gun and a PRB-92, again, with a customized silencer. She also gets a 3-speed and a 1-armor, also a very light operator. Same for, like, Jaeger and Bandits and Ash. So let's go ahead and go a little bit over this gameplay right here going on um, that I recorded uh, so you guys could see... How she uses her silent ability. Um, you notice that he is currently running around right now, and when he activates it, you'll see it here very shortly. Or to me, does he activate it here? I can't remember. Yes, he uses the interrogation. Tells you, tells. Now you can see on the screen where the enemies are at for a short amount of period of time, but nonetheless is really awesome it kind of looks like the operator went down like that is very scared for his or her life um using the interrogation um it was her life and as you can see he's running around here now using the um si silent kill so here's a nice little screenshot of capito and cavera together use that as you please here we go, a little better look at Capito's uh, special ability, that crossbow bolt there, the asphyxiating bolts with micro smoke grenades, which provides a little bit of cover, and um, a little bit of cover as far as if you need to, you know, distract the enemies in one area. Um, his uh, equipment is going to be the, of course, sun grenades, grenades, the M249, the Para 308, which is kind of reminds me of the scar that Buck uses. And the PRB 92 pistol. Now, Cavera also has the PRB 92 pistol, but she has the a special silencer that makes her bullets kind of subsonic. So, you don't really hear it as well. It's much more silent than a silencer uh, gun. Uh, than a gun silence. She, her equipment is going to contain the Nitro Barbed Wire, the new and approved Spaz-12, also known as the Spaz-15, the M12, and that pistol. Now let's go ahead and go over some pictures over here. Uh, also, 
three armor, or excuse me, three speed, one armor. Very light operator like Jaeger and um, uh, Bandit. So here's some a couple pictures right here going on of the rooftops. Now you guys are going to have to be aggressive on those rooftops. If you lose those rooftops, it is so key to keep those rooftops um, because there are so many flanking positions on this map. As you can see in this picture right here, inside, it is going to be very, and I mean very, shotgun heavy. So close quarters. Uh, very nice close quarters. Uh, once you get onto the rooftop, it's medium to long range. Here we got a picture of the marijuana uh, growing area. And over here, a little chemistry strat, a little chemistry set <laughs> that the enemy has set up of um, them making some methamphetamines. And then you got Auntie's house, which looks really nice. And um, what she doesn't know goes around her. Doesn't hurt, I guess. Um, but yes. And in case you ever run out of ammo, you can always come down here to the butcher where we sell tomatoes. Uh, that you can always chuck at your enemy if need be and some grab some ham off the rack if you need to and start whaling your enemy with the bone. So here's another picture of how open this area can be uh, with all these walls blown out. Um, literally. <laughs> so much open space. Uh, there's a one area in this map where there's a tower and glass would be great for sniping. So here's a little bit of HUD changes as you can see here. Uh, your health uh, being kind of different looking than current. And uh, here's her special ability and effect again. As you can see, it does have a cooldown timer. So that is going to be it for this overview of Operation Skull Rain, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this overview of them, of Operation Skull Rain, Season 3 to Rainbow Six Siege, which I'm very excited for. Also, some minor patch notes, they did some, or excuse me, major patch notes, they did some more work on the anti-cheat besides uh, Playfair uh, and the whole nine yards. Uh, more on that, go to Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, this website to look at the more of the patch notes. That's all I'm going to go over to the guys with you guys today. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget that subscribe button if you're new here and this is the first video seen by me. Plenty more to come, I promise. Don't forget to hit that like button if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.